So Magenta encouraged me to make a little video to share something interesting. Um, it's actually an event that occurred when I was 15. So when I was 15, I um, was into computer games, computers and computer games like any dude that age. And the big computers, which uh, were out at the time, were the Commodore Amiga and the Atari ST. Now everybody wanted a Commodore Amiga. If you had an Atari ST, I, I hate to say it, it's, um, it's because it was significantly cheaper than the Amiga. Everybody wanted an Amiga. The Atari ST just couldn't do a lot of games, just the justice. So I didn't want an Atari ST. I wanted an Amiga, but it was significantly more expensive. However, Atari then developed an enhanced version of the Atari ST named the Atari STE, E for enhanced. And this seemed like a godsend and it was still significantly cheaper than the Amiga and it was marketed as being a rival to the Amiga because it um, supposedly had improved hardware, what have you, sound and, and graphics and scrolling stuff. Okay, so I got me an Atari STE after my friend's recommendation. My friend who actually had an Amiga, by the way. Um, and I waited and I waited for all these STE games to come out and impress me and reassure me and make me feel like, yay, I've got something just as good as an Amiga. But ages and ages went by. These games weren't coming out because software developers just weren't weren't really interested they would always develop stuff to the lowest common denominator which was the Amiga and the Atari ST the standard ST so I was bummed out and uh, inspired by this I wrote to an Atari ST magazine um, speaking about uh, my my disappointment that not many STE games were coming out if any, occasionally a game would come out with a minor enhancement for STEs, but nothing significant. And when you wrote a letter to this magazine, they asked, um, they asked you to suggest a game that you would like if you won the Star Letter Award, like the Letter of the Month. So I, I submitted my letter and I picked out a game a game that I wasn't even especially drawn to. The sole reason I picked this particular game that I would be given if I won the Star Letter Award was because it was one of the few games which actually had STE enhancements. So here's a picture from the front cover. This is a detail from the front cover showing, hey, check it out special STE version, special STE mode on this particular game. And as I say, I wasn't even particularly fussed about this game. It was just a fact of beggars can't be choosers. So I just wanted something to take advantage of my supposedly incredible STE. So I won the Star Letter Award. I won the Star Letter Award and I was absolutely delighted. And it was published and it was printed. And I was over the moon and I showed my parents and my English teacher at school, who was really happy for me, it was like my first published thing. I, I felt like I was a writer. I had something published. And um, so, you know, that was, that was a bonus. And then I patiently waited for my game, my prize, for winning the Star Letter Award. But the game never came. And, as I said, I wasn't particularly drawn to this game. This is the name of the game. Here it is. Here's the cover.
I know, right? And as I said, it never came. I waited and I waited. I wrote a couple of letters chasing it up, saying I'd won the award, you know, I, I was supposed to get a prize. I, I wrote a few times and never got a reply. So there you go. I was drawn to that game. I, I had the STE. I was bummed out. I write, wrote the letter. I was drawn to this random game I wasn't even particularly connected to. And that's what the game was called. And here's some footage from the game. So what to do with that? I'm. Uh, I think the nature of you know prophecy, sometimes it can be presented through seemingly unrelated or insignificant events, which only make sense later. Sometimes you can, I think, like anyone, if you're kind of in that flow, you can be shown things way down the line, guidance that you weren't didn't even know you were seeking. I'm not going to try and uh, you know, overemphasize the importance of that but I think like a lot of people right now in this weird situation we're retrospectively looking back at our lives and our childhoods our adolescence remembering the world as it was or how we remember it was and um, I just thought I should share that I'm not going to overanalyze it but it's it's noteworthy it's too noteworthy for me to just sit on so there you go i asked for this and it never came it never came and the other thing here is I was think this this I started thinking about this again a few weeks ago and I'd told Magenta the story in the past but um it was just one of many things I'd shared I so I reminded her of it but the thing is she she had asked half an hour earlier she wanted some kind of synchronicity or sign about the current situation and the thing is, I'd started thinking about this incident and, and it stuck in my head because I never received it. If I'd have got that game, I might have just played it and it, it would have just fallen out of my head. So she'd been asking for something and the thing is, when I started thinking about this, I couldn't remember the name of the game. I couldn't remember the name of the game that I never got until I started researching it like the the few games that were made for the STE and that's when I found it and I was like I'm oh my goodness and then I told her it and it was just like whoa so there you go that's my thing do with it what you will I I just wanted to share it okay so that's about all shine on you crazy diamonds